Hey guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. Beneath the Sugar Sky was this month's Patreon book pick. If you don't already know, I do have a Patreon, and my Patreon supporters can vote every month for a book that I will read and review that month, and this was this month's pick, so thank you guys for voting. If you are interested in learning more about my Patreon, I will link that on the screen. Beneath the Sugar Sky is the third book in the Wayward Children series. This is a series of novellas that follows kids who have been into portal fantasy world. So these are kids that have gone through a doorway, a cabinet, into a chest of drawers, whatever it is, some kind of portal to another world, and they for some reason have returned to Earth and now they are struggling with that. So the first book follows a boarding school and the kids within this boarding school that is the home for wayward children, so they have been sent there because their parents don't know what to do with them, and so we learn a lot about the different worlds and everything there, and there have been subsequent books after that. This is going to be a very long series of novellas if Shauna McGuire gets her way, and this is the third one in the series. The first two books in the series can technically be read in any order, but this one should definitely be read after the first book in the series. But they are sort of like companion novellas so far. Some of them are sort of sequels. They're kind of all over the place order-wise, so we'll see how that unfolds as the rest of the series goes on. So first off, I'm going to talk about the world building. I love this world in general and just the discussions around the fantasy worlds and the portal worlds that these kids go into. So they have kind of figured out that all of these worlds exist on a kind of compass and there's different kinds of worlds. So there's like high logic and high nonsense and wicked and whatever. So there's all these different kind of like markers of what each world is and some of them are more similar because they're like both more logic worlds or more nonsense worlds or more wicked worlds or whatever the case may be and some of them are obviously very very different. So all these kids are coming from all these different kinds of worlds and kind of trying to figure out where there are similarities and where there are differences and what's great about this book and why I said it has to be read after at least the first book is you get to see some of the worlds and hear about some of the worlds that you heard about in the first book and kind of how they are a little more connected than we thought that they were in the past. So that's really fun. I love these worlds. Like I said, I've said in every single review for the book so far that I want just more of the worlds and I wish these books were longer just because I want more worlds and thankfully we're going to get like a ton of books in the series hopefully so we're going to get a ton of these different worlds but I find them so fascinating and so fun and anytime we get to learn about more of them it just makes me so happy. Next I talk about the characters. This book definitely has a getting the gang back together type feeling. There are some characters that we especially get to see in the first book that come back around for this book which again is why you need to read that first book first so you're familiar with them and I just really like them. I liked that this book had more of them kind of coming together and working together as a team and that was really fun and I really enjoy them. I just like all of them and all like how their little worlds affect them and how their worlds kind of show who they really are and that uh, the whole thing with this is like all these kids worlds like that's their like true home kind of thing so you get a sense of their character just based on which worlds they went to and that's a lot of fun. Lastly we talk about the plot. This plot I feel like was one of the strongest ones out of any of the books in the series so far. I really like all the books in the series to be completely clear but this one had less pacing issues than I think the other books have had. I found in the first two books that although I like the entire story it feels very rushed particularly towards the end and it kind of feels like it's if there's a switch that's flipped and then we kind of have to rush because there's only so much time and this one I felt like the pacing was a lot more consistent throughout so that was good. This one also feels a little more plot driven than the other ones. I like them both when they are plot driven when they're not because I've liked like I said basically every book in the series but this one it feels a lot more plot driven a lot more like adventure quest type story which makes it really fun and in each book there is kind of a main theme focus kind of a social issue type focus or whatever. The second book focused a lot on parenting. The first book had a asexuality focus and I'm forgetting some of the other ones because it was more foundational so it wasn't as evident as the book two and then this one. This book had a lot of focus on body and fat shaming in particular so that was kind of what that focused on and I like how each novella has that element to it that you have this like fantasy mystical element but then you also have this like commentary element to it as well based on what the characters are going through so I like that a lot. There were a couple loose threads in here and just because of the nature of how like short these stories are I feel like they always have that element but again because there's going to be so many books in this series, Shauna McGuire is a fan of her long series, I don't think it's going to be a problem so I think a lot of these things are going to come back around so I'm kind of getting the sense that now if I feel like there's a loose end it's going to come back around in later books in this series which is just really fun. I really like these books. So I gave Beneath the Sugar Sky 5 out of 5 stars. I feel like the rest of the books in the series 
barring some kind of catastrophe, are going to automatically be like 5 out of 5 stars for me. I just love them. I love the Portal Fantasy thing. I love all the characters that get wrapped in. I like seeing all the different worlds and there are so many to explore so this series can basically be never ending. Please and thank you. So comment down below let me know what you thought of Beneath the Sugar Sky. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!